We're playing Gibbous a Cthulhu Adventure, finishing up Chapter 3, Fish Mouth. It's the Joe Show. It's the Joe Show! With me, Joe. We're playing Gibbous. I got my duster on here to be a Detective Don. Let's do this. All right, here we are back in, I think, Don's house. I don't know. Don was just uh, showing off his new powers and uh, Buzz over here trying to figure out some more stuff about the Necronomicon after we met uh, the guy with the awesome voice last week. That's my file cabinet. Let's see here. Call me old-fashioned. Go ahead. Don, you're old-fashioned. I'll take a look, but Can we use that? later. Also got some chai tea here. Self-made. Ooh, can, oh, I can use Don's powers now. Who even still uses file cabinets, Joe? <laughs> Just uh, don't drop it on my toes again, Vince. What? Was that the voice of the file oh, cabinet? You sounded eerie. What was that? And you were talking in a couple of different voices. Never been much of a thespian, so I guess the hunter's mark does work. I think you were channeling the movers. How long ago was that? I don't know. Years. <laughs> I had a feeling <laughs> I shouldn't tip the short, annoying one. <laughs> Well, you can now legit read the past. Future would have probably hmm. been more helpful, but I'm not complaining. All right, give me a minute to look up this Barnabas fella. Barnabas, let's go with a nice voice. That was his name. Let's look up this Barnabas guy. Who even still uses file cabinets, Joey? Who even still uses Just file cabinets, Joey? Joey invents the movers. Joey, that's what everyone back in my home state still calls me from when I was that a kid. Kitty. That is Kitty. That is Kitty, yep. Can I use my... I don't think the Hunter's Mark works on her. Nope, can't use the Hunter's Mark on her. Can I talk hey, to Kitty? Hey, Kitty. Is it important? Mm -hmm. No. Let me know when it is. <laughs> okay, Kitty. Okay, Kitty. Talk to Buzz? I want to look up Barnabas first. I want to look up Barnabas. Can I use a laptop? I'm a hands-on guy myself. Mm. Everyone with a search engine in their pocket is a detective nowadays. That Dr. Google! You know? Door. Can I use the door then? A big, bad, weird world awaits out there. Yeah, that we're, that's where we're trying to go, Don. The big, bad, nah, weird world. Not yet. Still got things to do here. What do you got to do? Uh, ooh, a safe. Can I use my Haunter's Mark on a safe? Ugh! Drag this all the way up here and I bet it's empty, Joy. I bet it. <laughs> yeah, I'm, uh, I'm with you on that, James. <laughs> but no code. Those were some judgmental movers. No code, though. Joey and Vince don't know the code of that safe. Can I use it? Nothing in there. Nothing in there. So what do I have in my inventory? Don's diary, I assume. Ran into Buzz running down the street as soon as I tore that starry knowledge temple wall down. Turns out we were in Fishmouth. That explains the stench. It made it to the office in one piece. Well, three pieces. Myself, Buzz, and his talking cat. Yeah, the cat talks. And it's not the only supernatural development since the hand I grabbed. The shining trapehedron with glows and it's all magic-like. Turns out I might be able to read the past. Wonder what else this case has in store for me. I'm Don the Detective. So Don, if you can't use the filing cabinet and I can't use the whatever, like how, how do we, can we get out? The number one cause of horizontally intermittent tan. Occupational hazards. <laughs> Has anyone ever gotten, like, tan lines from blinds, though? Is that a real thing? Could that happen? Desk, laptop, can we use the desk? Nothing useful inside of it. No, there's nothing useful at all anywhere. Don. File cabinet. Can I I gotta look up Barnabas. Let's see here. Okay, so there we go. Now we go. A through D, we're looking for B for Barnabas. Baron Barnabas Barusa. But what are all these other people? I mean, there's a lot of files in here. David the Guilty Man. <laughs> the guy looks very, very guilty. Age 33, professional disco dancer. Sounds guilty already. A notorious haunter of all disco and roller skating places. Man got his The Guilty moniker by constantly shining the sequins that adorn his outfits into the eyes of the police and, and the general unsuspecting public. <laughs> oh, man. David the Guilty. I don't think he's guilty, though. He sounds pretty fabulous to me, shining his um, sequins into the eyes of the onlookers. 
Lowly professional disco dances. All right, let's look at. <laughs> uh, let's look at Barnabas here. Barnabas, age unknown. Occupation unclear. Could have could be a hunter of evils. Known crimes unclear, but he's suspicious of a vigilantism. The regular old Batman here. One relative, peace, peace, Brusara. Peace Busara. Little is known about Hostess Tenebris and his supposed leader Barnabas Busara. Oh my god, Joe. Let's learn how to read today. With very few suspected members and none but two semi-officially confirmed, Busara himself and his daughter Peace. It is widely suspected that they are in permanent conflict with several cults and have possibly sprung up as a response to said cult's activity. Busara, their supposed leader, has not been directly tied to any sort of criminal activity, but somehow his name tends to be in some way or another linked to the most prominent occult-related events in the criminal underworld. Current status is unknown. All right. But he's got a daughter named Peace. Maybe we can look up Peace. Find out where she's at. Peace. Be with you. And also with you. Nope. Mika the Kraken. Mm. Messy Jesse. <laughs> These names though. Vicky Legon. Yeah, she looks alright. She's just... Doing some petty art theft, that's all. Vicky over here. I like all these files though, it makes me actually feel like a detective. Oh, Ricardo, Ricardo, Ricardo. Classified. Interesting. So much going on in these file cabinets. But we found out about peace. Hey, Bozinski. I think I Buzinski. got something on that fine peace thing. I don't believe Barnabas was trying to guide you to a life of mindfulness and meditation. He's got a daughter called Peace. Peace, Busara. Hmm. Oh, of course. That makes sense. Can you, you know, look her up? On it. <laughs> After he judged him for using a search mm -hmm. engine. I think I got it. I found Peace Busara's blog. <laughs> I love... I love... That accent. What's a... Nah, never mind. What does it say? Oh, well, the latest entry's pretty cryptic. It just says land beyond the forest and a bunch of numbers. <laughs> okay, these must be spatial coordinates. Tracking them down now. All right, Buzinski. I didn't realize there was going to be Man, real time. This is yeah. just like in the movies. Real time searching over Man, here. Jeez. I was right. She's in... Formaris, Transylvania, Romania. Huh. Well, well. Hey, here's an idea. Feel like visiting your ancestral home, Kerwin? Are you kidding me more than anything? But I'm hopelessly broke and... <laughs> you look so excited. Don't worry Buzz, about it. Look it up. Barnabas paid well, and I want to see this thing through. Awesome. You excited to see Romania, Buzz? I didn't know that Dude, he was Romanian. I've been dreaming of this for years and never could afford it. The extra layer of mystery is just the cherry on top. Yeah, well, it ain't all fun and games. We're dealing with lunatics here. Buzz seems so excited about this. Found anything worth examining on your trip to Fishmouth? Actually, yes. Barnabas called it Olmstein's sign. Hmm. He apparently left it on purpose so that I could find it. Oh, that's right. Here it is. No idea what Bob it is. Bob Olmstein. The god of gods. Maybe we can use the hunter's mark on it. Flamel's abode. Flamel's abode. Hmm. Did I hear that right? Nicholas Flamel? Is this linked to Harry so. Potter? Does it ring a bell? There is one famous Flamel I know of, and he's, well, was an alchemist. Hmm. Looking it up. Pretty useful thingamabob, that laptop. 51 yeah, Rue de Montmorency, Paris, France. 14th century alchemist Nicolas Flamel's ancient home. It is like the Harry Potter. Huh? Could tie into the whole balancing chaos thing. All right, looks like that's my destination. European road trip. <laughs> so, when do we leave? 
Now. No better time than now. Radical. <laughs> yeah. Radical. It sounded like he said no, and then he's like, better time than now. That was a weird pause. I'm guessing that this is chapter four now, entering into Transylvania. Chapter four. Just took an airplane. Hope they were wearing masks. Coronavirus. Chapter four, Paris. Huh, I guess there's a stopover in Paris. Hmm. How did we get to Paris? And this was it. Paris. I stepped out of the downpour into Flamel's hutch just in time. Hmm. What followed was some kind of meteorological insanity. Hurricane <laughs> Herbert baffled weathermen and struck anywhere in the world without warning. That was far from my biggest concern, though. <laughs> You see, what? during the long cab ride from the airport, I'd taken some liberties with my walk dogs, what with the uh, kind of march of gumshoe puts them through. Walk dogs? Bumbled up and explaining to the obnoxious cabbie in my what? very approximate French that, no, I didn't want a detour to gawk the big old oil rig they planted downtown. Fate sucker punched me right in the gut. What is happening? I, uh, left my shoes in the cab. Always! Don never have shoes on! What are you, living in... Leipzig? No one here has shoes on. It's where I live, and no one here has shoes this on. might prove useful at some point. Nicholas Flamel. The famous alchemist. Bing, bing, bing. Let's ring that bell. I have no idea what happened, though. How did we get to Paris? What the, it, something about the, the plane and a hurricane? Like, what was happening there? Good evening. Good evening, monsieur. <laughs> Why is My Don's name is face Serge, black? and I'm the concierge here. How may I help you? <laughs> this guy... It's uh, quite the weather we're having out there. Oh, yes. A freak store. They call it... Uh, <laughs> That's what I called her, a freak store. It is eh? entire world by, well, by star. <laughs> huh. Yeah. She took me by storm, that freak. She was Paris a freak store. Paris is beautiful Bow. in the storm, though. I all heartedly agree, <laughs> monsieur. She's the prettiest no matter the weather. The Parisians love Paris, man. I believe I have the right address. Rue de Montmorency, 51. I'm interested in an apartment. Yeah. Um, everything is rented out, monsieur. Not trying I'm to sorry. rent. Everything. <laughs> trying to search. Well, yes, yes, everything. Man, I can't catch a break. Paris is a busy, busy city. This guy's French I accent. I'm here to check the plumbing. I'm here to check the plumbing. Classic for any detective excuse. Sure, you just. They have been checked less months. They remain just as horrible and unfixable as ever. Oh, uh, right. I'm a. Hmm. I'm a flooring inspector. I'm a flooring inspector. Came here to look into a certain apartment. Floor issues, you understand. Structural integrity. Maybe Not up to regulation. license. Oh, those are obsolete. Everything's digital nowadays. <laughs> a flimsy excuse if I've ever heard one. God, come on, are dude. Scientific in nature. I understand there's some uh, historical significance to this building. If you let me you in, I'll give correct. you a croissant. Sir Nicolas Flamel, the famed alchemist, lived here for a while. On the top floor. Ooh. May I see that apartment? I'm afraid not, sir. As you well guessed, it is being held on to. By who? On to, huh? Huh? Any chance it's a mysterious person interested in stabilizing volatile elements and such? Monsieur is very inquisitive. This guy seems suspicious now. Excuse me for a second. I think he is Nicholas Flamel. Why was Don's face so shadowed right there? That was so weird. What did we just write in my journal, though? Paris, my goal is somewhere at the top of the stairs, but I can't just go wandering up there. Need someone to show me the way. Serge may be a curmudgeon, but he does show but he does show up whenever I ring for him. Kind of cruel, but also fun. <laughs> Bing! Serge! Need an in uh, need an intriguing conversation topic. Must be something in this lobby that could give me an idea. Ledger. Let's look at the ledger. Maybe there's That's some a lot of book blockchain. Right there. <laughs> I wonder if it, this is a distributed ledger. That's the concierge's prerogative. Ooh, I can use my hunter's mark on this. 
Oh, wow. Getting such a garbled mess. It's Nothing. It's indecipherable. Nothing at all. Not helpful. What if I use my hunter's mark on Nicholas Flamel's flyer? It's a flyer what bears Flamel's mug. It's no. also got a writ of his goings and doings. Reading that, though, is a first-class ticket to Napsville. Population, Population Z. Z. <laughs> nice. I've been to Napsville. I go to Napsville pretty often. Especially if I get in a car. If I get in a car, I fall asleep within five minutes. It's insane. Darkness. Let's use the hunter's mark on the darkness. Nothing, Nothing that way. <laughs> Uh, kitchen hallway. Let's use the hunter's mark on the kitchen hallway. I'm, I'm gonna use the the Get hunter's mark here. on everything now. On surge, hunter's mark, surge. Way too many voices to distinguish anything. And oh, he's a psychopath. Okay. French. Uh, surge. Excuse me for a second. Excuse me for a second. That is so weird when his face goes all shadows. Oh, stairs. Can I just go up the stairs? That's gotta be my destination, but I don't exactly know where I'm going. Just, he said he's on the top floor. Just can't go. can't just blindly walk up there. No, you don't need him to show me. Portrait. Let's use the hunter's mark A on the portrait. A depiction of Flamel in Dignishka, Olmstev. Your penthouse quarters are ready. Right this way. Ah, Olmstev. Olmstev, huh? Nice, familiar ring to it. Olmsty. Bob. All right, Serge. Tell me about Olmstev. Does the name Olmstev ring a bell, Mr. Serge? I do not know who you are or what are you seeking, but this conversation ends now. May I have some soap what? on this stove and I must stain to it. Au revoir. What? That was weird. Why did that name freak him out so much? What if I use the bell again? Bing! Hello? Did Oh, what's up, Serge? I think we got off on the wrong foot, Montois, Serge. Yeah. Makes no difference. I cannot show you the apartment, and that is final. Uh, but it's for science. I find your reticence I suspicious. Find your reticence suspicious. My reticence is born of loyalty and respect. Loyalty to whom? Loyalty to whom, Mister Olmstev? Mm. Oh, your inquisitiveness grows tiresome. I have things to do. Oh. Now, if you'll excuse me, please let yourself out. Oh, oui, oui. I will not come back and talk to you. Indictive. Uh, portrait of an elderly woman. Let's find out what's going on there. Oh, Serge, we will be so happy here. Now get cracking on that dinner. Allez. Oh, whoa, Serge. No, what thanks. is with that? She's taken. And I got Cornelia. Who's Cornelia? This is the first that we've heard Don have a mate. Must be the missus. Shine. Can I go into the kitchen? Nah. No? Interesting. So... Now I gotta ask about his wife, who he clearly didn't treat very well. Serge, you look like such a nice dude. Like a nice little old man. And now we find out that you're terrible. That you're an absolute monster. Ah, it's you again. Look, monsieur, I have a wife on the stove and a soup in the... the other way around. Wife? Are you... My point is, I'm a busy man. You eating your wife? Hmm. I just want you to come clean. I just want you to come clean. It's, it's Olmstead who sent me. I was just testing you before. Oh, really? I never saw him with anyone else before. Oh. Let alone sending someone. Oh. Allow me to remain suspicious as to your truthfulness. The fact that you know his name does not mean you represent him or are even his friend. Hmm. You're being unnecessarily pedantic. You're being unnecessarily pedantic. <laughs> no, I am merely being cautious. Big difference. Come on. I'm here for the, uh, the thing Mr. Olmstead left behind. I'm sure I can find a way to convince you that I'm his representative. Fine, I'll play along. Hmm. Let me think. Hmm. Something that only he and I would know. Um, uh -huh. Mm hmm. All right. Could you perhaps uh, tell me, Mr. Um, uh, Ketype. Mr. Ketype. He gave his real Do name? You know what his nickname for me was? That only he and I knew? 
And if you tell me that, I'm fully convinced he really did send you and hand you the key to Flamel's room. Stretch? <laughs> uh, what? I don't recall it right now. Flamel... Flamel's what? Flamel's what? Room! R Rome? Room, room! <laughs> oh, you are insufferable! No, you are insufferable. Uh, uh, which one? Did he say it in that? I don't remember. Sergio Leone? <laughs> Gramps or Stretch? Stretch. Uh, Stretch? <laughs> no. Gramps. Gramps? Not by a long shot. Sergio Leone. Sergio Leone? Not even closer. I, uh, I don't recall. I don't remember. Now. I'm sure it'll come to me. Why am I not surprised? Anything else, monsieur? Uh, not for now. Are you? Ah. Oh, we. Oh, we. Maybe here again? A beautiful depiction of Flamel in Tim Mr. Olmstead. Your penthouse quarters are ready. Right this no. way. Olmstead, huh? No. Hmm, is it back in the ledger? Maybe in the ledger now? Nope, nothing oh, there. Wow. Nothing in the darkness. Any, is there something else here that I'm just missing? Stairs, portrait. The portrait of the elderly woman, kitchen hallway. Bell. What if I use my hunter's mark hunter's mark on the bell? No resonance. Nothing. Alright, looks like I'm gonna have to press space bar. Oh, fishing hook. Definitely did not see that. My monitor is so dark. I'm not getting anything. Can I pick it up though? Okay, fish hook. That would result in. What is with the fish? Picked hook? up this fishing hook. Don't ask me why. I'm not sure either. Can I use it on the portrait? Nah. I Can I use it on the? Old lady? I'm not going anywhere near Sage's. No. Can I use it on the book? Not a smart place to. No. That would result in. It's a flyer what bears Flamel's mug. It's also got a writ of his goings and doings. Reading that, though, is a first class <laughs> ticket to. To Napsville. What else is here? Ancient inscription. Didn't see that. I'm sorry, I. Can't read ancient ancient ish, but we can haunt us mark that. Habitat Flamilus. Hic habitat Flamilus. Can I use the picture on the ancient inscription? I uh No. Can I use the hook on it? I uh No. So ancient communication device, didn't see that either. I wonder if I can use this. I don't think I'm getting any No. Haunter's Mark! Mr. Watson, come in. I want to see you. Watson, hmm? So his nickname is Watson. So you're telling me there's a Watson. Oh no. Do you oh, not no. have anything better to do with your times in torture me, Mr. K-Type? But you told me that you... Enjoy it, BDSM. Uh, can I inquire about the may book? May I inquire about a book you have here? <sighs> you may. It is our Flamel Memorial Gist Book. I have been keeping it for more than 30 years now. How nice. So it's uh, one of those things you write your impressions in after visiting? You should be a detective. I am a detective. I'm going to get my impression on Flamel if you won't let me visit his rooms. I don't know. Doesn't this lobby elicit any historical enthusiasm in you? <laughs> All right. I'd like to jot down my impressions of the place. I'm afraid I can't let you personally do that. What? But I will be happy to write down whatever it is you wish. Ah, okay. Mm, all right. By the way, what a beautiful quill you've got there. Actually, it's a fountain pen <laughs> made to look like a quill. Is the feather real? A quite real Corvius Corax feather, <laughs> yes. 
Isn't that a, a raven feather? A fine present from someone very close to my heart. What shall I write? I, Donald <laughs> Archetype. I, Donald Archetype. Yes? <laughs> of sound body and mind. Uh -huh. Yes. Hereby declare this uh, this fine evening. Such an orator. Yes. <laughs> that in a state of solemn fascination. <laughs> oh, you is there more? <laughs> Plenty. I touched down in Paris, and the storm grew in its hateful intensity. Yes. What is going on? So I staggered through the rain slick streets of the metropolis. In uh -huh. the name of all that is sacred, is there more? There's... For in these precipitous times, my efforts to abscond the true nature of my incursions into the obscure and forbidden. Uh, monsieur, you what is going have on? to excuse me. I will be right back. Je viens, je viens. Okay. I'm really not sure why that just happened. Serge may be curmudgeon, but he does show up when- oh yeah. In his rush to attend to his wife in his soup, Serge left something behind. Something that could help me answer some questions. So now I can use the... Pen? This is for you, you Papapion. Papa- ah, oh, Papapion. Monsieur Homestead, it's, it's beautiful. You are, you are too kind. Well, now we know. Can I also take the pen? As Mac Viper says, never touch another man's pen. Never touch another man's pen 15. <laughs> Why is his face always getting dark? It drives me crazy. I might have known it was you. What is it now? I remember what Olmsive used, used to call you. used to call you. It was Papapion. A con but boy in the face of evidence. You truly must be an envoy of my dear friend. Hmm. I will give you the key to the apartment. Please reassure me, Sir Olmstead, of my everlasting devotion and friendship. Nice. Be sure to do that. Thanks. Olmstein sends his regards. Olmstein? Huh. I mean Olmstead. <laughs> Silly me. Thank you for delivering his message. What is it that endeared you so to Olmstead, Mr. Serge? He's, um, well, uh... His pen. <laughs> Strange. I find it hard to put my finger on it. <laughs> I just feel so loyal to him. Weird strange. I suppose it is a bit strange, but I'm, I'm, I'm an old man. <laughs> I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm... okay. An old man. Do you remember Olmstead, though? Olmstead. Oh, very, very warm and uh, light. Yeah, but what of his appearance? Appearance? Uh, oh, I, yeah, let's um, get some hints on what Olmstein well, looks like. Huh, funny. Oh my god. Now that you mention it, I'm having a hard time recollecting his visage. Strange. Yes, maybe. But, but uh, I'm an old man and my memory is foggy mm. about a lot of things. Yeah, that would explain it. Mm-hmm. Is from the uh, thing still up there? Ew. Is sing music a type? Oh, come on, Serge. I work for the man. You know, the stabilizing element he was after. I truly know nothing of what Monsieur Olmstead was researching up there. Hmm. I figured he would keep you in the loop, no? Yeah, it's complicated. Hmm. Thanks, Serge. Thanks, Serge. I'll come to bother you if there's anything else. No bazaar at all. Anything for Monsieur Olmstead. Mm hmm hmm. There we go. We got into the room of Nicholas Flamel. Seems to be an open window here. A big old open window. Ah, Paris. The city of lights. More like lightning now. Ah. Done. There's a pentagram on the floor. That's 
Interesting. Of course there had to be a pentagram. Of course. <laughs> he has, still has no shoes on. Know this seeker. Oh, whoa. Books hold untold meaning. Whoa. Order is capital. Um, what just happened? What is it? What? A pentagram. From my forays into the occult, I know of rituals involving certain words that need to be spoken near each angle of the wicked sign. Where do I look for them? Okay, so I'm gonna have to speak words one by one here. Can I hear the haunter's mark? Know this seeker. Books hold untold no. Order is capital. Okay. This is gonna be fun to figure out. I don't know what to say. I inspect I, it? Or the Roman numeral for one. Oh man. I I or the Roman numeral for two. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Rotting books. Str surviving books. Well, let's look at the rotting books first and see what we can figure out. Ancient books, rotting away in this forsaken attic. Uh-huh. Can I use them? They're no use to anybody anymore. Can I haunters mark them? They're no use to anybody anymore. No. Surviving books. Can I use them? Surviving books. These particular books. books had somehow survived. They seem to be in alphabetical order. Alphabetical order. I have to make okay. some kind of informed choice here. Choices, actually. Mm-hmm. Oh, goodness. Coulter S. in Tenebris. Ermuris in Pernicius ex obliviare. Fellas de Uthar Iconis in Nomini Ubris in Libris Menum. I have no idea what any of this is actually trying to tell me or in what order I could possibly be doing this. But here's Terribus Asenex. Terribus, isn't that the one that uh, Barnabas was doing? Concilium Erat Senes Terribus. Wow. So each one of these books is going to have a different word. How am I possibly going to figure this out? Oh my god. Okay. Uh... Yeah. All right, let's see, what am, I, what am I missing here? We got strange dust and ancient armor. Let's check these things first and then maybe they'll guide me in some way a little bit. A uh, big vertical crack yeah. in it lets me know it's empty. Cool, so there's nothing in the ancient armor. Oh, cool. A really old, really crooked armor. Haunter's Market. Nothing. Then we got strange dust on the floor. Okay. Strange little pyramids of grayish blue dust. Sounds kind of vaguely magical in some way. Can I Not use it? Not pick any of this stuff up. Who knows what it is? No. And does. What about a haunter's market? Yeah, at Zoftu. Yeah, Angaku. Yeah, the Nibo. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. That might actually be the first three things that we need. So let me let me see that again. Yeah, at Zoftu. As as at the Zoftu and Gaktu oh. and Gaktu. Let's see if I can find that in the in the books here. As Gaktu and Ath Gaktu. No, not there. No, not there. None of these even come close to as Gaktu. No. Man, this is this is a rough Okay, we got a proper in quet. No. Man, this is this puzzle is just something else. So far all the puzzles have been pretty straightforward and this one just came out of left field on its difficulty. This is a very complex puzzle. Okay, so none of that helped whatsoever. What if I just click one of these things? Nope. Finnum. 
What happens if I just say it's Finnum? Will he go say it? Finnum. Nothing. <laughs> wow, this is this is gonna be rough. There's nothing the Haunter's no Mark can show me. Books hold untold meaning. Books hold untold meaning. Order is capital. Order is capital. So there's a hint in there. Order is capital. What exactly that means, I'm not sure, but order is capital. And then this strange dust. Let's see what this has. Something. Order is capital. Yeah, at Zothu. At Zothu. Yeah, and, and Gaku. Yeah, see, Nibo. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Does the fish hook do anything? No use here. No. What if I go back downstairs? I doubt that Surge is going to have any information for us, but we'll ask him just to see if there's anything else he can tell us. But I, I'm guessing the order is capital has something to do with it here. What's up, Surge? Nope. Thanks, sir. No, buzz. Nope, nope, nope. Nothing. Okay, what about this ancient inscription again? Let's check that out. It's probably... Probably Latin. That wasn't helpful. No use for this. Okay, thank you. Hic habitat flamillus. Hic habitat flamillus. That did not help. Hic habitat flamillus. Hic habitat flamillus. Hic habitat flumelis. Maybe... What about if I use the Haunter's Mark on the surviving books? Do I get anything? There's something capital about these titles. It is reflected in the knowledge within. Yeah, okay. Okay. Something capital about these titles. There's X in X X in 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 I I I O P S T V. There's a lot of N's. Capital is order. Cultor S and Tiberius. At Novismius Divius Super Me. Hmm. And what's going on in in his notebook here? I'm really not sure what exactly... The yeah, order is capital must mean that there's a certain sequence in it to follow. Okay, yes, thank you. The surviving books in the library have gotten to be connected to the pentagram. They, have all, they all have just the first five words underlined. Can't be a coincidence. Haunter's Mark revealed there's something capital about the book's capital. Capital. Order is capital. So there's cap, I mean, each one of these titles is capital letters. Okay, so Magnum is capitalized in that book. X is capitalized there, but it seems like there's no, I mean, the first word is always capitalized. Order is capital. Uh, so A, B, C, D, E, F, G. C would be the first one here. Out of all of them, this is the first one. Because C, right? So then, inquis et cautious ad impignium. Uh, in impugnandium would be before inquisitoris, right? And et would be before all. Ad would be all of them. So let's go with... No, no, no. We want that to be one. Add. Let's let's see. And my thought here is that C is the first letter of the, uh, the first, yeah, letter of the alphabet that appears first is the letter of the alphabet that appears first here. And in the first five letters, add is the one that appears first. So let's let's just go with that. Add. Let's say it on the first candle and see what happens here. I doubt that that's how this works, but we'll find out. It's first to add. Add. Nothing. Add. Come on. <sighs> I 
Did this tell us anything? I can't remember. No. The d strange dust, what did that tell us? Yeah, at Zoftu. Yeah, Okay. Well, there's more strange dust. What does that tell us? Yeah, that's no. Oh, okay. was that was there not strange dust here? Probably alchemical in nature. No time to look into it. Okay. Is yeah. it the same I thing? Oh. I'm not gonna pick any of this no, stuff. No, can't. Up. Huh. If I use the haunter's mark on each one of these candles, let's try that just to make sure that I'm not missing anything. Know this seeker. Books hold un so book holds order. Team, yeah, untold meeting. Book capital. V or the Roman numeral for five. I or the Roman numeral for one. I. I. The Roman numeral for one. So I. I. Okay, so that I feel like that has something to do with something here. Because now it's I A. I A I A I A. Okay. I A. I I. The Roman numeral for one. I. I. There's a lot of I think there's a lot of books here that begin with I, right? Yeah. In M M Id Id Id. So maybe each one of these I books I id 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 iconus would be the first one with the eyes. I a the first catus? Maybe catus is the right one? I feel like there has to be something like I'll get a hint once I figure out the first one. If I'm on the right right Cut path this. here. Huh? I had chosen the book starting with an I and the first word in the sentence. I was on to something. That's what I was thinking. Thank you, Don, for saying it out loud. Okay. I think I got this now. I think I got this. So now it's gotta be the second book in the sequence. Iconus was the first one because it's I C. So then I D would be the next one. So it'd be this one or this one. Identificanto or uh, idio igneous. Uh, I-D-E, I-D-O, so I-D-E would be the second one. Second word, S, right? Third would be idiom ignis, so then we gotta do the third word, cactus S draconi, and then next would be uh, I-M, M, M and that would be the fourth word. And the next would be the fifth one, and that would be in Loctus, and that would be the fifth word. In. Don't know if I did that right. I just sped through it. Let's see if, if we got that right. I might not have gotten that right, though. Est. Est. Oh. Oh. Draconi. Woo! I think Joe got it. In. Oh, baby, here we go. It, it, nothing. Ah! No! Cut those. I had chosen the book starting with. Yeah, okay, okay. S. Draconi. Draconi. In. In. Okay, now I gotta relook at this because I clearly did something wrong there. I uh, in lock in like Iconis Imperio yeah in yeah 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 okay. It's gotta go though. It was wrong. In lactos. I-N-N, I-N-N, I-N-L, 
L M N, but that would be unless that one is the Vasilium. Because that's IV and this is just V. And so maybe we're looking at the V book. Finium? Maybe let's try it out. Don't know if I'm on to something here, but let's try it out. Phenom. Ah! Got it. Okay, I got a creepy ladder that just kind of descended from the ceiling. Let's see where chaos takes us. Man, you should really have shoes on to be climbing this ladder. Wow, that was a really interesting puzzle. It's taken us to the ceiling. There seems to be a big, huge speaker above us. <laughs> I don't know what that was. Container! Ooh, let's inspect this container. There's no apparent latch or handle, and it looks firmly locked. Nothing. Can I use the Haunter's Mark on it? Flormilus Necessarium Est. Yes, Flamelum is necessary. I'll be damned. That's gotta be what I'm looking for. But how do the we open it? container of Constance, as it were. Huh. What else is up here? Anything? There's Paris still. There's some... A skull on the walls. There's stuff on the walls that I'm not seeing. Wait, that was something. What was that? What was that? Hello? Junk? Maybe it's the Haunter's Mark on the junk? <laughs> on this junk? No resonance. No resonance. There's nothing. Can I use the junk? No need for it. No. Uh, ooh, maybe I can use the hook to undo the latch. No visible opening. Nope. Maybe I can put the flyer of Nicholas on the container. Just apply flamel. Uh, hey, it, it works. <laughs> okay. There's a page here. What does the page say? Huh, a solitary page. Looks like it was torn out of a book. <laughs> Get, take it. All right. Let's uh, see what this says. Come on, Don. Huh? Interesting. I should tell Buzz about this right away. He'd better have a cell phone signal. Okay, so that was it. Man, that puzzle was unexpectedly complicated. But we figured it out in no time. Woo! Finish Paris. On to Chapter 5, Transylvania. We're moving quick. We are speeding through this game. We're like Speed Racer. What's going on over in Transylvania? So Buzz went to Transylvania and Dom went to Paris. Ugh, not having phone signal or internet sucks so bad. Rare occurrence like that helps <laughs> us any. Sure, it took a lot to get from Bucharest <laughs> to this Forum Maris place. More than crossing the ocean, I might add. Huh. It's this blasted storm that defies the laws of physics popping in and out of nowhere all over the world. <laughs> Did you hear the driver saying it was messing with the GPS? Wait, huh. where'd that accent come from? Yeah, really. This? Well, what are my ancient stomping grounds doing to me? Kite, <laughs> I think this is the real me. <sighs> it never what ends. What are you doing, well, Buzz? Well, we're here. Charming town, your ancestral home. You will, of course, understand my apprehension and distrust of this place. Me being a black cat and everything? Hmm. It isn't still the Middle Ages here, dummy. <laughs> and as long as you're not excessively loud, people tend to not notice you can speak. Let's find peace. Right behind you. Okay, so that was just him faking an accent. All right, so now we're back in Trent. Not back. Now we are back as Buzz in Transylvania. What was that piece? That oh, a bus ticket. It's the ticket for the tr neat cool. little souvenir. I'll have to use that at some point, I'm sure. City Hall, dark door. What else is around here? Kitty, sad mask, local man. Tourist info. Let's read the tourist info. Let's see what's going on over here in Budapest. It's a tourist or info thing about the statue and town Budapest. in general. <laughs> yep, just as I suspected. It's a Vlad. Uh, okay. I guess we can talk to the local guy. What's going on, local guy? Hi. No serus ma. No ni ma la il ce Okay. Bine ma fratiare. Ni ma la il ce tras la fata e ma seracu. Yeah. Desiste ca nu manca nimic de tri zile. Tu lai Silvie. Ca cum ai ajuns aici ma? 
de unde e? De unde e fi, mă? De cu ești? Cu curata ai de Mimă și umblă cu mâța aia după el Vai! Mm-hmm. la el, mă, zici că mm-hmm. de la țârcuș Mâță neagră, yeah. mă, umblă după el Gândești că-i câne Bată-te norocul să te bat Have you seen a foreign girl around here lately? <laughs> Ce, mă, fete străine aici? Du-te, mă, de aici, mă uh. la el, fete-i trăbă tu l-ai, doamne, dar păi... Am I missing the... Să dracu copchi, să cați fete. Dar păi, the... voi n-a văzut acolo, mă, doamne, iar că mă și nu mă bate. Bă, n-am mai văzut nicio joke? piere, mă. Numai... That he's just saying no, but this, this is all no. Ok, any idea where I could look for her? <laughs> dar păi numai Dumnezeu bunuțul știe. Dar păi, eu de unde să știu, mă, copile? Dar păi, vezi tu, uh, ești tu uh, hal acolo așa. Îi zice, ha, nu vieți. Așa îi zice. Și apoi, mergi tu frumos acolo pe chișoarele tale. Yep. În adida și tăi frumoși. Și apoi întreb tu acolo, no, că yeah. poate știu oamenii, poate nu știu I vedeți, tu I that's what you're no, say. Bine, mergi frumos cu mâța Try după tine Tu ai mâni la ei, mă, bă, bă, fain is, mă yeah. Neam de neamul meu nu văzut așa ceva Thanks, are you from around here? Oh, Buzz da, cum, mă? Dar, da, din tata Buzz, why do you keep this going? Băile, dar cum, mă? Dar păi de când mă știu eu, mă? Why, Buzz, păi why? Și apoi când mei, mă, tată mi o vasilie, the... moșu, iu, This guy's very talkative Tata lui Moșu Solomon, zice, Ghibolu, și apoi I wonder if they replayed the audio from the yes before To like really drive home the... see, weird weather no. we're having, huh? Buzz, yeah, mă, zici tu bine Buzz. ce zici, mă, tare duba și vreme, What mă, mă, doing? eu de când mă știu așa ceva n-am văzut Why? Apoi când plouă, când e soare, deci vine țarușcă mea așa jos Când se supără sunt Ilie și apoi trântește o furtune de... De să cacă ciorile pe ele, I think the joke ele, was mă, funny de, like the first two times and then it kind of got old feri. And then they should have like, de just mă, muncă, am făcut, eu n-am mai said a really complicated sentence in like right. one... Bye No, bine, dar cu tati, te-am țucat, mă, du-te, du-te, că te-o aștepta Yeah, they, they really missed the opportunity for the joke here Mă, vă zic că vii Du-te, că mi-ești drag, mă Should have had a really complicated tine, answer to like the weird weather we're having And then him say just, bla Du-te, dragă, merg cu Dumnezeu Yeah, okay, but, yep, I'm really trying not to skip past it Oh, Jesus, that was rough Try the inn, inn window Horse, carriage What's going on with the carriage? Let's inspect that carriage. carriage. What a quaint little horse-drawn carriage. Can I use it? I can't drive this. Coachman has to be around, though. Of course you can, Buzz. You just gotta have faith in yourself, buddy. City hall, trash. Maybe we can pick up the trash? Something Look, good in the trash? I am picking it up. Such That's a good just Samaritan. Swell, buddy. You better believe it. I do. Fine. Good. <laughs> wow. Ugh, okay. Got trash. Glad that's in my inventory. My pockets won't smell at all now. City Hall. Can I go into City Hall? It's where the mayor of Fotomaris toils away, Fotomaris. serving the citizens. I'm definitely gonna have to go into City Hall at some point, huh? Statue. What's what's going on with the statue? That inscription is nigh unreadable, but I'd bet my bottom dollar that's a Vlad. Okay, that's not... That was the same thing as a tourist info. That's kind of weird. Light bulb. Can I take the light bulb? It's way too hot to touch and I don't see a light switch. I'm gonna need a, that light bulb at some point. Can Kide get it? You don't need to involve me in all your foolishness, you know? Kide, come on, let's get the light bulb. Find the off switch. Sad mask. What is this guy? It's a person. Uh, good evening. Uh, hello. Must make it to the castle. Oh, castle. Barnabas? Must reach castle. Must defend castle. I'm afraid I can't okay. help you with that, sir. That guy's gonna be, I don't know, doing something. Dark door. Uh, can I use the dark door? The dark door. I door. am the one who knocks. Come to think of it, I'd better not. Nope, Buzz is too afraid to use the dark door. Of course. Red gate. Can I use the red gate? Knock, knock. Red gate. This is Buzz. Oh, hey. Stop right there, little chiclet. What's your business with the Corvins? Who's Corvins? Uh, are you talking to me, ma'am? Why, yes. Yes, I am, sweetheart. <laughs> you are trying that door over there, and it's for me to decide who goes or doesn't go through it. Okay. Okay. She seems reasonable. I just need to go in to follow that cable there. Oh, I didn't Try even realize. Try to restore realize. the internet and GPS to the place, you know, doing <laughs> some good. 
Oh, so huh. you're with the people that come fiddle with the cables every once in a while? Yeah, my exactly. team. Exactly. Well, they all know the answer. So tell me this. Uh? How many pieces did Corvin's heart break into? Oh, easy. Corvin's heart. Oh, man. Poof. Uh, who's this Corvin guy you keep who's mentioning? Who's this Corvin guy you keep mentioning? Don't play dumb with me, Chicklet. Shoo now, shoo! I'm not really sure I understand what's going on here. You can't grasp the concept of password protected entry? <laughs> Don't they have internet where you came from, Chicklet? <laughs> Uh, I seem to have forgot my password. I seem to have forgotten my password. Can we reset? Any suggestions on how to proceed? There's always the password recovery <laughs> system, Chicklet. Oh, uh, cool. how do I access that? Uh, ah, Lord knows where he is right now. Oh, I gotta find it's a him. He? Yes, that's my husband, Ewan. He could be anywhere Yon. right now, but he's probably hanging around the inn. Like always. I'm gonna have to go recover my password, huh? Why can't you be the password yeah. recovery system? Does your wife do everything around the house? Whoa, while whoa, you just, whoa! Uh, lie around? I don't have a wife. Doesn't surprise me. <laughs> hey. This, this lady's strangely fun. How do I recognize your husband? How do I recognize your husband? Big silly black hat and the bigger and sillier white mustache. <laughs> Thanks. What the mustache? Uh, Actually, never, uh, mind. never mind. We'll talk later. What's back here? Before I go to the inn, I might need some other junk for the inn. Whatever my task is in the inn. Imposing statue. Niku playing Game Boy. We got a lit, lit up window. A lit window? There's a party going on in here. It's a lit window! To the wall! To the sweat drops down your Transylvania! Art critic. Is this brain shape? Faded mural? Oh, I can go this way too. Man, this is a big place. Transylvania's got a lot going on. Trying to get that password. Old man. Well, that's a beautiful mural. It's like a dragon breathing fire. There's cats. Seems to be telling of what's gonna happen if we don't save the world here. Bet you that old man knows something about that painting or that mural. Gorgeous pastures. Yeah, it looks really nice out there. Hmm, okay. City walls. Well, let's try to recover this password before we do any other mystery here in Transylvania, because I figure I'm gonna be here in Transylvania for quite a bit. It looks like a big place. Tourist info point. Let's go back to that. In. Talk to Eon. Recover that password. Use the medieval password recovery system. Something about that is really exciting to me. A manual password recovery system. Sounds so fun. How are they going to handle this? Definitely not talking to that local dude again. I don't like that joke. It started off funny and then kind of got annoying. Alright. Big black hat. What a lovely Sillier place. Sillier white mustache. Just stay alert. I can smell the tension in the air. That's probably just customers waiting for their meals to arrive. It takes time to dice up the meat enough to hide the stab wounds. <sighs> This guy has a very nice mustache and hair going on, and a watch. The little pieces of technology in this are always very off-putting. It's so confusing. This is like a magical thing, but then also we have these little pieces of technology going on. Thick glove up on the, the chandelier here. I immediately noticed that. Can I get that down? Probably not. As has not. often been the case. Can't reach it. But you kitty can, though. Kitty, 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 kitty. Yo, kitty. I need your climbing skills to get that glove up there. But do it, uh, do it stealthily, okay? Gotcha. <laughs> Whoa. They didn't even I'm notice that. Show off. <laughs> 
That was awesome. What, what was the art for that glove? It was like, it almost looked like Cthulhu's like little thing. That was very weird. There's Ion. Let's see if we can recover that password. Hi there. <laughs> what? Uh, I hear about the password recovery. I hear about the password recovery. What? What's that? <laughs> forgot my username and password. You what? <laughs> uh, I mean, I, I forgot my password. Oh. All right. Well, do you have the letter? The letter? 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 What letter? The Y. The Y? What? What? No, what? I'm afraid I don't. Come back when you have it, Sonny. What? Got a scoop. What? The letter Y? All right, then. Do I... Me, me, does my bus ticket it's have this? It's the ticket for... Neat little... No? Does the junk somehow have this? It's, uh... Well, it's trash. No? I mostly picked it up to spite Kid A. No, it's gonna come in handy, though, Buzz. Thick this glove. glove is super, super thick and temperature Ooh, we can get resistant. The, we can get the, nice. uh, the, uh, the light bulb. <sighs> okay, so now we can go get the light bulb, but how does that help us get the Y? There's a radio. There's a bent fork. There's some vinegar. There's Eon. They're the innkeepers. They look friendly. I like them. There's an impressive collection of pitchers. <laughs> Can I pick up the vinegar? Let's go back here, though. Let's get that vinegar. Boop. Just take it. Buzz, take it. Don't wait for Kid A. Just take it. Watch out! What? What? You just said watch <laughs> out. I did? This guy. Oh, I did. What? Oh. Who's he talking watch out. to? That there is not vinegar. What? It's not. What? What is it? No, it's a powerful solvent. Huh? I, uh, huh? uh I mislabeled it. <laughs> Silly me. Nearly killed myself with it. Yeah, it's such a weird me. dude. Can I still have it? What? Yes, yes, take it. Just don't put it in your salad. Okay. What? What? Oh, darn it, now I'm doing it too. I feel like he's uh, got... Thanks. ...his wife in his ear or something. But I got the powerful solvent slash vinegar. Can I take that bent fork too? I mean, who knows? It might come in handy. Well, I'm just... Can I take his bread while I'm at it? Wait, the, the, the fork kind of looked like a Y, no? I don't know. This fork with its bent ties yeah. just, you know, intrigued me. Hmm. Can you use the Stainless fork with steel. the solvent? Or the thick the glove? Fork? No. Or the junk? That would just... No. Self-involved gentleman. All right, well, let's go get that light bulb because I'm going to need it anyway. So we might as well, before we talk to anybody else, get that light bulb. But what's the why? He says, come back with the why. So I have to get a why somewhere. Which sounds kind of funny. I need to get a why somewhere. Okay, let's use the... The thick glove on the light bulb. Because clearly we can unscrew it. Okay, this should stop it from burning my fingertips. Re -re -re. Okay, now we got a light bulb. Not sure how that helps us, but we got a light bulb. Wait, what do you think you're doing? What? I'm... I need this bulb. <laughs> my folks are from around these parts. <laughs> oh, sure. Silly me. Why don't you grab the statue while you're at it? Hey I'll, hey, I'll bring you back, okay? I need this. For such a goody two shoes, you should sure borrow things a lot. Shut up, cat. <laughs> <laughs> Perfectly functional light bulb seeking healthy, compatible socket. Could you please not say that? That was weird. Okay, so now I gotta find out the why. Hmm. Well, let's go talk to that old man. I don't know. Something about that old man seems like he would know about a why. Let's talk to this guy. Uh, good evening. A good evening to you, young man. Hmm. 
Boy, what a sight, huh? Yes, yes, mm. it is superb. The rolling hills with their scents of hay and white flowers. The gently grazing herds. Mm. Sometimes I wish they placed this bench the other way around. But um, yeah. I guess this way you can admire the mural. Good point. Is there a story behind it? Is there a story behind it? Yes, there is. But do you have the time to listen to it? Well, I just asked, so yeah. Yes, I do. Now, legend has it that a long, long time ago, on top of a mountain overlooking four maris, the Solomonar, Ooh, an that's wizard. an ancient wizard, was conjuring thunder oh, and rain oh, when, below, a terrifying balaur, that's a dragon, attacked the town. The masks, sworn yeah, defenders of the town, could not defeat the dragon, but could not live either. So they sent an innocent young shepherd girl by... Hmm. I'll tell you. Overlooking four maris, hmm. a Solomonar, that's an ancient wizard, was conjuring thunder and rain when, below, a terrifying balaur, that's a dragon, attacked the town. The masks, sworn defenders of the town, could not defeat the dragon, but could not live either, so they sent an innocent young shepherd girl by the name of Miwara and her dog Azor to beg for the Solomonar's assistance. Miwara and Azor's journey up the mountain was not without peril. See? Oh, the Solomonar had laid oh, many traps and cunning magical okay. obstacles to stop anyone from disturbing his ritual. But Miwara and Azor were smart and agile and resilient, so they made it to the mountain top and told of the dragon's attack. But the Solomonar was red with anger and could not see beyond the fact that a girl and her dog had conquered his defenses. And since they had proven to be smart and mm. agile and resilient, he transformed Miwara and Azor into a black and a white cat, forever cursed to roam the hills and mountains without ever resting again. Then he did make his way down to Forum Maris and found it in smoldering ruins, and the masks all but defeated, making their last stand against the beast. He fought the dragon for three days and three nights, and finally crushed it down into the mountain, burying it in the bowels of the earth. Afterwards, mm -hmm. he cried tears of remorse for foolishly cursing the shepherd girl and her dog and erected a monastery in their remembrance. That castle above the town that everyone fears, its steeple is all that oh, remains that of the monastery the Solomon Arbil I'm glad ages, 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 ages ago, ago, young man. It became I'm still corrupt, here to tell the story, some folks say for how that long? it's from the evil no that the really remains of the dragon still hold. Other than me and the masks I hear the masks are once, once again someone. guarding the castle so now shall that its rightful heir has returned. But and who so would not. risk going all the way hmm. there to see if it's true? I'll be off now. Have a nice evening. Not many, dear. You too, young man. Not many. Goodbye. With that nice story in mind, we're going to cut it off there for this week's episode of Indie Game Weekend Gibbous Cthulhu Adventure. If you like my content, hit that subscribe button and mash that bell to get a notification every time I upload a new video. And until tomorrow, play something good because I love you.